Welcome back guys. Today uh, uh, you're on YouTube channel Omar Sevilla and we're going to go over micrometers and how to do a basic reading with a micrometer. Today we're just covering the basics, how to read the barrel, how to read the thimble. All right, so the first thing we need to know about a micrometer is the anatomy. So in the micrometer, there's a few basic uh, components. You have a frame which determines the overall size of the micrometer. You have your measuring faces. Um, one of the measuring faces is located on the spindle. The other one's located on the anvil, which is not listed here. Uh, moving down, we have the lock. We have a barrel, which has numbers on it. We have an index line on the barrel. You'll see that a little closer in just a minute. We have the thimble, which rotates, and the ratchet, which determines the proper tension to put on our measured components. So one of the things we need to remember when we're measuring with a micrometer is we're measuring in thousandths of an inch. What that means is when we write our number, we're going to have a decimal and three digits after that decimal. So every number when we're building our equation will be a decimal with three digits. We're going to start by looking at our barrel. This area of the micrometer here is referred to as the barrel. This section of the micrometer is referred to as the thimble. The barrel has lines. Each line on the barrel is equal to 25 thousandths of an inch. The best way that I remember how to count the numbers on the barrel is like if I'm counting quarters. 25 cents, 50 cents, 75 cents, a dollar. A dollar 25, a dollar 50, a dollar 75, and so on. The thimble would be like pennies. So each line represents one thousandth of an inch. So on the whiteboard right now, we have an example. So I'm going to kind of break down this example for you um, line by line, and then we're going to do the basic equation and come up with the correct measurement. Each line on the index line represents a thousandth of an inch. So this line here is ten thousandths. We express ten thousandths by 0 0.010. The numbers below are less than, so we have nine thousandths, eight thousandths, seven thousandths, six thousandths, and all you can see here, you can go down as low as five thousandths. Remember, this thimble is cylindrical, so as we rotate this, the numbers will change. As we move upwards, we have 11 thousandths, 12 thousandths, 13 thousandths, 14 thousandths, and 15 thousandths. To determine our measurement, we're going to identify the number that's on the index line, which we already determined was 10 thousandths. We're going to add that to our equation. And then we're simply going to add them. So 275 thousandths plus 10 thousandths of an inch is 5, 8, 2, decimal 0. That's 285 thousandths of an inch. I'm going to pause for a minute so you can take a close look at how we count each graduation. All right, so we have another example here. So again, we're going to determine the number that's exposed on our barrel and the number that's exposed on our thimble. So remember, our lines on the barrel are 25 thousandths of an inch. So we add them as we go. So here we have 100 thousandths. 150, 175, 200. Then we have 250, 275, 300. Then I got 325, 350, then 375 here. Okay, 
So I'm just kind of going a little faster now. You've had one example. This is our second example. So the last line exposed on our barrel is 375 thousandths of an inch. So we're going to represent 375 thousandths. And now we're going to look at our thimble. Our thimble, again, we have five thousandths. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten thousandths. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 thousandths. Okay, so I'm gonna look at my index line. And again, we're at 10 thousandths of an inch. So I'm going to add 10 thousandths of an inch to my equation here. I got five plus zero is five. Seven plus one is eight. Three plus zero is three. So this example is 385 thousandths of an inch. Okay, last example for this video. Um, again, we're going to look at our barrel. We're going to look at our thimble. And we're just going to start counting lines. So I have 100, 200, 300. Here we have 325 thousandths is the last line that's exposed on my barrel. So that looks like this, point, uh, 0, 0.325. I'm gonna come to my thimble and I have 10, here's my index line, 10, 11, 12, 13 thousandths. 13 thousandths is 0 0.013, 13 thousandths of an inch. So I'm going to add that to my equation. So that's eight, three, three, decimal zero inches. So this equation or measurement is 338 thousandths of an inch. That's the quick and dirty lesson on how to re basically read a micrometer. Uh, look for more lessons to come. I'll see you guys next time on the Omar Sevilla channel. Have a good day.